it's Miranda with Mahalo, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make a Christmas breakfast recipe, an artichoke frittata. So here are our artichoke hearts right here. Uh, we have two cans drained and coarsely chopped. Then I have 10 eggs over here, beaten, a little bit of hot sauce, a half of a cup of panko, um, which is you know, Japanese breadcrumbs, but you can use traditional breadcrumbs if you prefer. Um, then we just have a pinch of salt, um, two tablespoons of garlic, um, and then two tablespoons of leftover artichoke heart sort of juice from the water. Um, I had the kind not packed in olive oil, but just, just packed in water. Um, so just reserve two tablespoons of that. And then one sweet onion chopped, a half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese, and then two cups of um, shredded like Mexican blend, or you could use cheddar if you like, but I like to have a little extra kick. Um, so what we're gonna do is move over to the stove and first we are going to saute our artichoke hearts, our garlic, and our onion together to make that nice and soft before we put it all together and put it in the oven. Speaking of, I am preheating the oven right now at 350 degrees, so we'll be ready to go when we're ready. So let's head over to the stove. Okay, transfer my artichoke hearts. And we are going to add the onion and the garlic and the two tablespoons of, of the like marinade reserve. Just pop these in here. And we're gonna add the remaining, the two tablespoons of the artichoke water reserve. So we'll just pop that in here as well. Okay, we'll give that another stir, make sure everything's all mixed in together. And now while this is cooking, we'll head over here and we'll assemble the rest of our ingredients. So we're just going to give our eggs just another little whisk to make sure it's all mixed together. And we're gonna dump in our salt, like so. Give it a little, little shake. And then we're gonna do a little bit of hot sauce. You can use a teaspoon, you can do two teaspoons. I, I like it, so I'm gonna give it like a few nice dollopy shakes. And just get that in there. You have so many eggs, we have 10 eggs here, so you're not gonna burn your mouth by having a few healthy shakes of hot sauce. So whisk that all up. And then for the fun cheesy part, we're going to add in our cheese. We're just going to add in the Mexican blend right now because later we're going to top the whole dish with the Parmesan. So we're gonna keep that for later. And if you prefer to use a soy cheese or a rice cheese or an almond cheese, absolutely feel free. And you can certainly cut down on the cheese content too if you like. But this feeds a nice big group of people for Christmas morning, so a little cheesy square never hurt anybody. Okay, so we're just gonna keep mixing this in. And I can hear my artichokes and my onions cooking in the back, so I'm just gonna check on them and give, give it a quick stir and let this sit. Okay. So this is good. I can smell that it's cooking. It still has a little bit to go, so we're just gonna let this kind of hang out. And we'll come back when the onions are cooked and it's all ready to be mixed together. So our artichoke hearts, our onions, um, and our garlic are all nicely cooked, so we're gonna turn this heat off. And I'm gonna move this over here we're gonna combine this with our eggs and then we're gonna pour everything uh, into that baking dish. And then we're gonna to top with some Parmesan and some panko. So here we come, artichoke frittata. And we'll just go around that whisk. Okay. I'll just scoop all this yummy goodness in. And just give it a quick toss with your whisk. Slide it on into the pan. Okay, just smooth this out like so. And if the artichoke hearts separate it all from the egg, just make sure you move it around so everything's evenly distributed. Um, you want everyone to get as much goodness as possible. Okay, so now we're gonna to top with our Parmesan and our Panko, or as I said, you could just use traditional breadcrumbs. 
They're just feeling very exotic today in the grocery store, so. I expand our horizons. So just sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Like so. And then the panko, which will give it kind of like a nice little crumbly top. It's really subtle. I'm not doing a ton, just a little bit. For some crunch, it's gonna give that nice golden brown color. All right, just evenly distribute. Voila, okay. So our oven has preheated at 350 degrees and we're gonna stick this in there for about 30 minutes until it's firmed up and uh, the panko has become a little bit golden and you'll be able to tell it's done. So it's been 30 minutes, so let's check on our, our frittata. And it looks perfect, so let's pull it out. Oh, it's heavy. All that eggy, artichokey, cheesy goodness. You can see the artichokes poking through. We've got some nice golden like cheese egg yumminess happening here. So there you go, it looks amazing. I can't wait to try it and I'm sure your guests on Christmas would love to do it as well. So that's how you make Christmas breakfast uh, with the artichoke frittata recipe. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. And if you want me to show you how to make something else, just send me an email at requests at mahalo.com or check out one of these other great videos.